My name is Maria Caneliato. Here is what I would like you to remember about me. My name is Maria Caneliato. I was born in Bryan, Texas on July 10, 1895. My parents were Giuseppe Caneliato and Lucia Trombatore both were born in Corleone, Sicily. My mother was married before in Corleone, Sicily, and had a son named John. Biagio Tinarello, who is my half-brother. My mother's first husband died in Corleone and she later married my father on April 12, 1892 in Houston, Texas. The names of my other siblings are Louis born in 1892, Sarah born in 1894, Andrew born in 1900 and Lucina born in 1901. Sadly we lost our sister Lucina in 1915 when she was only 14 years of age. She died from pneumonia and she is buried at Ente Calvary Cemetery next to Front Fence, near the road running along the cemetery in Bryan, Texas. We all lived on a farm in Bryan. In 1916 I married my sweetheart Felix Razafi, who also live on a farm very close to our farm with his parents. This is how we met. In 1918, we had our first child named Mary Teresa Razafi. In 1919, our second child was born named Luke Razafi, and our last child, named Lucille Razafi, was born in 1921. All three of my children were born in Bryan, Texas. We lived in Bryan until after our three children were born and later moved to Houston, where we bought a home at 3601 Bell Street in Houston, Texas. We lived several blocks from my parents' home on 3300 block of P Street. I got to visit them often. I raised my three children in our large two-story home at the corner of Bell and Scott Streets. Since my parents most spoke Sicilian I never was able to speak fluent English, but I got by anyway. I was ill from a kidney disorder and sadly I died on July 3, 1931 at St. Joseph Hospital in Houston. I was never to see my children grow up get married and raise their families. My oldest daughter Mary was only 13 and she had to take over my responsibilities since Luke was only 12 and Lucy was only 10 years old. Mary had to help with cooking and cleaning the house while my husband worked to pay the bills. My coffin was placed in the living room of our two-story home on Bell Street and this was very traumatic for the children especially. My father had purchased a large plot of ten spaces at Holy Cross Cemetery in Houston and I was buried there. As my coffin was being lowered into the ground my husband Felix ran from his chair and lurched toward me trying to stop the burial. In the future my husband would bring my children and light candles at my monument and visit with me. I am happy to say that my husband and three children have all joined me in heaven so we are one family again. Someday, I hope to meet more of my family. We will wait for your arrival. In the meantime please visit me and my parents and siblings and their spouses who are buried in the plot at Holy Cross Cemetery on Main Street. I am on Ancestry.com and on this site you can see other photos of me and my family. Goodbye for now and know that I love you and will pray for you.